<laughs> we are at Mount Bachelor and we're about ready to take the ski lift up. It's yes. gonna be fun, I can't wait, let's go. Poor Kelsey, she's really nervous. Kelsey's nervous, but it'll be fun. Might be because she's afraid of heights. Yes, yeah. so. well, let's go have some fun. Pine Martin Lodge is where we're headed up to at Mount Bachelor. So we're taking the ski lift all the way. I think we're going up to the summit. Um, this is cool. So a beautiful ride with a pretty sweet view in every single direction. I mean, this is amazing. And then down here, you can see this is part of the bike trails, the bike trails down through here. Look at this. You're sweet. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi. So, Hi. what do we think? What do we think? What? That this is awesome? Yeah. Is yes. that what we think? Yeah, go on. Oh, here Hi. we go. Oh, it's so terrifying. I don't. These kids, they have no fear. Look at that. That's amazing. All right. So we have some relatives up there, and a relative and a boyfriend getting ready to zip line. So let's watch them take off. This should be fun. We are 7,700 feet up. In the air. In the air at uh, Pine Martin La Lodge. Lodge. La Lodge. <sighs> we can get this, I swear. Okay. Pine Martin Lodge. Why do we always struggle with, or is it just me that struggles? I think it's with? just you, but you yeah. throw me off. Yeah, I do. Because I, I'm perfect in every other way, so. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Kidding. <laughs> you I'm know, kidding. she's not, you're not wrong. I'm kidding. I'm just waiting for the bloody nose to start, so. <gasps> Me too! Yeah, I know. I'm waiting. Anyway, it'll happen. Um, anyway, 7,700 feet up. Mount um, Bachelor. Mount Bachelor, Pine Martin Lodge. We brought, we took the chairlift up. It was super fun. Um, great views. Oh yeah, look at that. This is your lunch view. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. The view is great. Oh, the view got worse. Oh, the view is great. Oh, the view got worse. Oh, the view is great. I'm just kidding. The view That's is pretty rude. good. Yeah, but yeah, it's super pretty up here. What do you think, Cal? I think it's cool. It's very beautiful. It is pretty up here. I mean, your first real big chairlift experience. I know. <laughs> And I didn't fall out. That's like big for but me. Next time on the way down, put the thing down in front of you guys okay. so you can rest your feet on it. It's a little more comfortable. Oh. So anyway. I was very seriously afraid of falling out, but. But you did good. You made it. I did it. Every, all my belongings made it up as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fell. I, your, your bar of success is set very low. I love it. 
Yes. So what's happening? Where are we at? What's happening? Okay. What's so, hello. Good evening. So we are at Marcello's Cucina Italiana. It's an Italian restaurant here on in Sun River in the village. Um, it's, you know, it's one of those places that you can dress up for, but it's also Sun River, so you don't have to, like, dress up for it. You don't have to. You're on vacation. I hope Right. I mean, it's just, it's casual. Like, everybody's welcome, but it's, it's casual, awesome. nice. But it's also a place that you can easily on the roster and have a special occasion. Yep. It's, so it's kind of nice. For it's that. fun. So yeah. So we, you know, we didn't really dress up, dress up. But I'm definitely not in like cut off shorts and a tank top. Um, neither are you. You're wearing a polo. I'm wearing a. This is fancy for Docker me. Docker shorts. It this is. This is fancy is. for me. And you look great. I, I, no. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're here. This is kind of our like. This is our fancy meal. This is of the our week. fancy meal of the week. This is our meal like to celebrate and to enjoy our family and, and, and friends. our extended family. Our extended our family. Friends. They really are extended family. And uh, yeah, it's fun. We splurge and we have fun and we order whatever we want within reason, girls. And um, one of everything, please. <laughs> Sorry, we're turning. So, uh, good morning. Um, we are on our way to Quail Run. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. Quail. Golf. Yeah, Quail Run. It's golfing. I haven't golfed in five over probably. Well, I think I went once about five years I ago. I think so, maybe. And then before that, it was probably another couple years. Anyway, so this should be this should be fun. We're gonna golf. Gambling is illegal here at Bushwood, sir. <laughs> Please. You said, please. <laughs> he was going to F-bomb you. I mean, then be careful if you grab it from the metal and pull straight out since it has some weight, people just, you know, whack themselves, so you don't want to leave the <laughs> grinder. <laughs> um, another thing I'll mention with that one, um, a note, just never pull over the shoulder. That's really just bad form and it gets really unsafe if the axe were to be to the head. So always center and straight, okay? Um, the second throw is just a single-handed throw, guys. So you want your hand at the base of the axe, good solid grip. The key with it is keeping your elbows tighter in, almost like a karate yeah, chop. Yeah. That way the axe is coming out straight. If you baseball it, get too wide, you're following Allison. through, you're going to see it get sideways and wobbly. It's going to do exactly how you release it. So the straighter, the better. A uh, movement for me, more so in the shoulder, I just start with my axe here, raise up, step, pull down, just nice and smooth. This is an official logging company in downtown Bend, so we're doing some axe throwing, and it's pretty cool. I mean, you got the... Girls, you can do it. Look at this. Oh. Kelsey, where's that aggression? Bring it back. Bring it back, Cal Cal.
Oh, I saw you. Oh, there it is. Wow. See, that's what I do too. It's like, it's gotta be smooth. They can't really throw it. Oh, yeah. They can't throw it. And then it'll get a spin and a half and stick it upside down if we get the right spot. So good. good. Are you looking around? <laughs> Making sure it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you look around, honey. Make sure I already look at it. Yeah. So we are at Craft Kitchen and Brewery. Uh, they've moved locations. They used to be over by the mall, right? The yeah. mill yeah, district. Old, over, mill, old, mill district. The old mill district. So they've moved here to where their production facility is. And uh, kind of food. They do all their meat and stuff out here. Breweries out back. We were gonna do the shoots, dishwasher broke, so we couldn't wait there. Now we're here, and this was a score. It Everybody's was. meals was good. Oh, um, ten, out ten out of ten from Katie. We'll add a which, link in the description which, below hey, for Craft I just Kitchen have to Brewery. Say, for Katie, for her to say ten out of ten. Right. That is the a big downside. Deal. Show them my food. The downside to the meal <laughs> is Allison just got hers. It's, well, it, it never fails. It's good. One of our and yeah. it looks like what? Uh, Taylor just got a job here. So good job, Taylor. Uh, Taylor's clearing. It's Taylor's that's clearing awesome. busing tables now. So, so good job, Taylor. Oh, Kelsey okay, got a job here too. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> um, good job, girls. They got employed. Yay. Um, anyway, Craft Kitchen and Brewery. <laughs> Worth the stop. Off the beaten path though. Um, the electric bikes. Full sweet. on, full nice. On four electric bikes. Four levels: eco, tour, sport, lazy, and turbo. Chubby. Turbo <laughs> is your equivalent to complete laziness. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. So we are here at the Cove. Um, we don't have access to it because we're not staying at a Sun River Resort yes. vacation rental. But we wanted to show it to you because we've had it before, and it's it's a lot of fun. It gets crowded, of course, as any, you know, place would. But if you want access to this... But this is all new. This part's all new this year. Cabana rentals. You can rent a cabana. It gets super fun. We've done that. So, if you want access to the cove, you have to stay at a Sun River Resort yes. vacation rental. That could be the lodge. It could be a house. House. But... I would recommend if you want access to this, go to sunriverresort.com and rent a place. Which kind of want access to this? I think you, you want do. access you to do. this. I think you do. If you have Let's a house with no way. pool, like Stone Ridge Townhomes is great because we have our own pool there. That's great. But it's not, it's not pet friendly. Nope. So we have a house next year and we made sure we rented from Sun River Resort so we would have access to the cove. Now, the other place we're going to show you is SHARK, stands for, it's an acronym, it stands for Sun River Homeowners Association Recreation Center. Yes. Um, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that <laughs> anyway, is a lot. SHARK, they call it SHARK. Um, if you rent from, say, VRBO or Discover Sun River, which I think is now Vacasa. Yes. Um, it'll say some of those, some of those will have access to the code, but you really have to read the fine print. You have to read in the description. Um, 
Mm, pretty. Yeah. Um, so you have to read in the description where you have access. But this is cool. It'll say shark for the code. Shark is great too. However, uh, I'd say there's probably 30% more houses access to the shark than the cove. Yeah. So that equals crowds. They have a lazy river pool. Let's go at look shark. at the, we let's, will. Let's go look at the crowds. We're going to show you we're going to show you shark. Now this is covid summer, so um 2021, but <laughs> the crowds are usually like double. So what you're seeing is actually it's not too this bad. Isn't bad. <laughs> shark is going to be twice as much. Let's go find out. We have been at the shark where we have been in the lazy river and literally I'm in an inner tube sitting, floating and not going anywhere. Okay, you don't move. Because there's kids underneath you bumping into your butt. <laughs> um, it's just, it's not fun. And where there's only, the only access you have to lay down is on the grass, which is fine, but it just makes, I don't know, it's up to you. If you, I think kids might like it better. There is a slide. If you show up there. Oh yeah, there's a water slide up here. There's a water here. slide. The water coming out of it, not heated. FYI. Yeah, it's cold. Not heated. <laughs> um, but it's got a zero entry area over here where you can just, it's, you know, zero entry, which is great for like the little ones. Um, it's pretty big. It's deceiving from here, but it's pretty big. Yeah. Um, it's, and they, it's pretty have, big out they here. have chairs and lounges all the way back. And they have a great um, fr uh, spotted frog. Uh, little cafe where you can get food and they'll come they'll come and take your order yeah. it takes a while just saying it's busy it's especially this summer because everything <laughs> is short <laughs> places are closing down early there's some places that aren't even open on certain days yeah. because there's no one to work um, and that's the problem we're seeing nationwide yeah, yeah. anyway so let's go check out shark and we'll show them that shark. this is shark water slides um, Last time we were here was a few years ago, and let me just say this is about 25% less crowded than it was when we were here. Oh, yeah. If that gives you an idea, this grass was full. Yeah, this grass was the full. The lazy last time. river that you see there. I don't know if you want to go up to the. I don't want to get too close to people. Oh, all right. Um, the lazy river was like inner tube to inner tube. It, it wasn't, you didn't even move. It was. Anyway, you can tell that I have my preference, but. It's got a really neat slide. Yeah, cool water slide. The kids love that. It's got a pool inside as well. And it's got the lazy river and a regular pool over there. And like a little mini slide for little kids over there. And it also has food and stuff like that inside. So, no, it's got everything you it want. It does have everything, everything but it's a lot less. I mean, there's more people here, but it's also bigger. It's bigger, but I'm just saying that more houses have access to this than the other one. All I'm saying is that... If you don't like crowds, this probably isn't the place <laughs> for you. No, this is, if but it's are, pretty quiet. If you have older kids and you're older, again, probably not the place for you. Agreed. It just is loud and busy. Yeah. Um, but if you have a lot of little kids, then it's they're going to love kids. it. I mean, there's a they're ton of little kids. It. We won't show you all that, but I mean... Pretty busy. I just hope they can see well after Yeah, I mean we can I mean, you can kind of get an idea what it's like. Lifeguards though. Yeah, lifeguards everywhere. Mm -hmm. They probably have lifeguards too, right? I think so. Yeah. Anyway. It's no, uh, we just wanted to show both. So when you rent here, pay attention to what which which one you have access to. Unless you stay at a place like we are, Stone Ridge. There's a couple other ones too. Yeah, there's other condos there's that have their own There's pool. a couple other um, communities in, within Stone River, like yeah. condos and stuff that have their own pool. Yep, that's true. Um, so you just have to look around. And that is the largest raven I've ever seen in my life. Straight ahead on the ground. Holy cow. Raven. Never more, never more. Let's see how close we can get to this guy. He might attack me. Whoa. He's huge. Anyway. They got a basketball court. Yeah. If you want to play basketball in the heat. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let's ride around a different way.
So leaving Sun River. <laughs> Got a big pack. Sad day. I know. It's always sad to leave, but it's always good to go home and start something else, you know? And it's just good. I want I'm excited to get the puppy. I know. Can't wait um, to see the hyper piper. I miss her. I feel awful for leaving her. I don't think we'll ever do that again. Nope. I've never but seen her again. packed car, packed kids, not a packed tummy. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> I am, would get the car tomorrow, but I don't want these. Hi. <laughs> Just show you a piece. Yeah. All right, Christine, please explain where we're at and what, what's How happening. How are you? Okay, I'm going to get it. This is a... Welcome. Take the next left after dark. <laughs> <laughs> On your left. On your what? Gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Five years ago, I read before we came up here that it was during, I think, I'm gonna say June is when I read it, that halfway up this lift, they said they weren't sure, and there's footage somewhere online if you look, of they weren't sure if it was a Bigfoot or. <laughs> okay. So... Here we go. <laughs> Hi. Take the next left. Um, today, Jefferson was a slave owner. Why is he on a bill? Today, I, mean, I guess most people are. Katie and I are going to talk about why Jefferson's on a bill. Thomas Jefferson is on the two dollar bill. If you guys are wondering, I didn't know that. Um, I'm going to review. Okay, even though this isn't that, oh, my nose. Oh, that's bad. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to review Gold Peak Tea. The sweetened version. It is 190 calories. That's fine. But it's not like fattening, allegedly. So I guess we'll be skinny today. I love sweet tea. Oh, that's good. Sweet tea is fine. That is good. But it's sugar. So okay, it's well, it is take the next left approved um, gold peak tea. Not sponsored though. No. So, Sponsor not, us though. Not sponsored. Um, Catherine is going through Charles's wallet. He has a $2 bill. No, Those me. are pretty rare nowadays. He has two of them. It's good luck. It is good luck. And he has $3 and two $20. You should take all of it. Honestly. And we're going to have one less $20. <laughs> Pocket books. Thanks, Dad. Okay, this has been real fun. But um, we're going back to take the next right. Bye-bye.